Got an update to my CNC conversion on my lathe, my Grizzly G0752 lathe. Uh, a couple of previous videos, I went through the, the whole conversion explaining the, the dual controls. I got a, a CNC uh, running Mach 3, or Mach 4 rather, and uh, an Arduino running the manual controls. So the hand wheels and the half dot and everything is running off of an Arduino. Um, and then I had a, another video that I added threading to it. Uh, in this one, the update is profiling. Um, my goal here was uh, I wanted to do simple chamfers and tapers uh, without a taper attachment or without using the cross slide. Um, because I don't want to put that back on, it's kind of a weak point in the lathe. So, uh, and the Adreno can certainly handle uh, point to point operation with the two motors. Um, so, when I started this, it was just simply tapers and uh, chamfers, and then I realized that uh, the best approach is just to, to let the operator, through the, the control box here, uh, choose a number of points, any number of points, um, and go step by step so he can do uh, chamfers, profiling, just simple profiling, even taking stock down, uh, it'll just automate the operation. Uh, or tapers, of course. So I'll, uh, I'll do the same as last time. I'll get up close to the work part and then go through the LCD and the operator input um, on how to how to choose all the all the points for the profile, um, and then I'll cut the part. So this is the part we're gonna do a profile on. It's just a simple part. Um, we're gonna be doing this outline here. Uh, it's got quite a few points just to do this little simple uh, simple guy. Uh, one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I'll make a point out in space off the part just so I, I come off the part. So eight points total. Uh, I got some simple dimensions. Uh, I'll set the, the carriage to this, to this zero mark when I start so I know where I am. And then I made a table and put those values in. Uh, the carriage positions with the diameters uh, so it's easier just to enter the points. Uh, you'll see that um, it's not it's not CNC so you don't have any graphical display or anything this is just with a LCD push button uh, running an Arduino so it's, it's very simple so a table will keep it uh, straight in our minds as we're putting the points in where we are. Um, you do have to think about the tool a little bit um, what you're going to use to cut it, this is, this is going to be, there's, there's really no faces here, so I'm going to use a simple profile, um, profiling tool. Uh, if it had faces, um, I mean, the tool is going to go exactly point to point, exactly where you want it to. Um, so you have to watch that you're using the correct tool, left hand, right hand, for, you know, if you have facing operations or something, you're going to have to use the correct tool, and sometimes do a couple of profile programs just to get the shape you want. Um, I did the program originally just for chamfers and things and a simple profiles is fine but you certainly would want to go to CMC if you had something complex. Uh, then the program's telling you you have to change tools or you have a crash situation. In this you have to think about it yourself. Alright so we'll, we'll check the part up and see what happens here. Alright so let's enter the, uh, the inputs and see how this turns out. Um, so the, the third button, long press will enter the mode selection. Um, first one is just standard mode, which would go back to, to the standard. Um, then we have external thread, which was the previous video. Internal, which I didn't get to yet, and now profile. This is the one we're using. Uh, it's asking the outside diameter. So I, I just took this down, and I know it's a little bit larger than what I need. It's 13.7. Uh, and this just sets the tool onto the stock, so the program knows where we are. Um, the top button is uh, selection up and then down. Uh, press and hold, you go a little bit faster. After, I think, a millimeter and a half, it starts to skip around. But um, So we're going, yeah, we want to go 13.7. Oh, there. So we're going to accept that. Uh, it's asking to the retract the tool, set the X retract position. 
and uh, we just have to pull the tool back. If I pull it back less than a millimeter, it's going to say not okay. It's got to go at least a millimeter. We're going to pull it back a little bit more just so we can see it. Except a uh, number of profile points. Uh, this piece has, um, well, it actually has seven points, but we're going to enter eight. We're going to enter a, a last one that's just off the part. And direction of cut. We're going to go right away from the spindle. The other option is left into the spindle. We're going to choose right. Uh, and it's asking now for the number, uh, the point numbers. Uh, so we have Z1 is our first point. Uh, we have to move the carriage to the position. So this point is at 34 millimeters in the Z. And then we choose the diameter with the, with the controls again with the buttons. And this diameter is going to be at 13 millimeters. Okay, so we'll accept. Uh, point number two is at 30 millimeters position. Yes, here is the resolution of the z-axis. Uh, it's about 12 microns, so I won't be able to hit 30 exact. And that diameter is also 13, so that's just a st straight profile there. Point three, uh, 20 is the position. Again, and the diameter here is eight. Your single press is just by microns, and then you press and hold, and you start to jump by hundreds of microns. After a millimeter and a half, it goes by millimeters. Okay, so the point three, uh, 20 and eight. Point four. Point four is at 15. And eight, diameter of eight. Point four, fifteen eight. Yep. Point five. We're at twelve and ten. Twelve on the axis. And diameter of ten. Except point six. Three and ten. So the axis at three. Ten. Point seven. We're now at zero. And uh, diameter of four. So this is a little chamfer at the end of the part. And now this last point is just simply off the end of the part. So I just want to back the Z position off. And we'll keep the same, uh, same diameter it was as 4. Okay. So our points are entered. Uh, depth of cut. It just defaults to uh, 500, half a millimeter. We're going to go slightly less. And uh, seven for a finish cut. So we're going to accept this. And I'm going to adjust the speed on my own, but you can set the speed here. I'm just going to hit enter, accept this. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the it's telling you now the profile's ready, engage the half nut. So we'll start it up. 
adjust the speed now. And when I toggle the half nut, it should just simply go to the beginning of the profile and pause. This is where the start position is. Um, yeah, it's not saying it here, but if, I'm going to have to change that. It should be telling you to engage the half nut again to start the profile. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I was asking for 14 passes. We're on pass number five here, and the last pass is a finish, so it's going to take 13 reps. Seven, so halfway. The most difficult part of this program was actually setting the offset for the finish cut, uh, calculating all the angles, and then what offset it requires. Now it's gonna, even though it's finished the cut up on the top side, it will go in and just trace over the exact last cut until it's finished with the entire profile. I don't have any decision making that says, oh, I'm finished on this cut, so I don't perform it anymore. It just makes the calculation, and if it's the same as, as the previous cut, it'll just retrace it. So it looks like it's complete with the entire profile except for the end chamfer. That's really the only one that's still roughing out. Alright, it looks like this is the last rough cut. Now that it paused and the display is reading uh, ready for finish and gauge half nut. I guess if you wanted to put a, uh, a different insert in, a finishing insert, that's kind of why I pause it here. Um, also just to, to know we're ready for the, the finish cut. You, you can't change the entire tool because you'd lose your entire position or your axis and everything. Um, so we'll disengage and engage and this should be the finish cut. And now it's taking 70 micron depth of cut. There we 
they have it. Now keep in mind that um, why I'm doing the Indrino program is I wanted to have manual control and I got to the point where that was working fine with the hand wheels I wanted to add threading of course because that's a simple basic operation that I didn't want to have to go to CNC for this is taking it a little step farther in no way do I do I think this is better than CNC it's absolutely not it's a it's a real crude way to get something done um, but there's a as a hobbyist there's a a big gap between a manual machine and CNC uh, there's a lot of effort that you have to put in learning cam and things like that it's fun and that's great but if you want to just do simple operations um, I think the Adreno gives that kind of fills that gap a little bit and uh, allows us a little bit of automation uh, with basically a manual machine 